use of the word subsidizing, yeah, we keep using that word, and yet who's subsidizing us if not the taxpayers? I mean, it seems to me that it seems to me that that that's exactly what taxpayer dollars are supposed to be used for. If you're going to have a planning process at all, it is going to include an appeal process. If it is going to be uh, legal, uh, then then it should be subsidized. It should be paid for by the taxpayer dollars. Um, so fundamentally, I have an issue with not providing that service as we provide police service, fire service. Now, some of these services we do charge fees on, but, but it should be part of the service. It's part of the democratic process that we put in place. If we didn't believe that, the fees would have increased a long, long time ago. Um, with regard to the, the fee increases, uh, Mr. Smith, I just want to point out that, that those big companies that, that are filing these bogus claims, and I agree that that occurs, they're still going to pay the 500 bucks. That's not the problem. The, 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 their increase is only going from about $105 to $500. So these big companies, they're going to file for $500. That's not going to, the only ones it's going to have a chilling effect on are the people that live more than 500 feet away, just the, the mom and pops, the... the the uh, individual homeowners, that's going to have a chilling effect on them. And, by the way, the neighborhood councils who would have to pay instead of $100 will have to pay $500. They can do it if they can put it together of their own source. But in, in any case, the, it's going to have a chilling effect on the public's ability to appeal these cases. The primary concern I had yesterday was with regard to the fact that we did not increase developer fees. While we increased the appellate, the non-applicant fees, we didn't increase the developer fees. So if we really wanted to share the sacrifice here, we should have increased the developer fees. Now, yes, they're capped. In fact, the, if, you, if, you, if you look at the way that it was done, it's actually going to have the effect of reducing the Secondly, developer. I had a problem with the building and safety fees. They went up from $368 to $6,100. That's a 2,000% increase. Now, I recognize there's only... In, in 2008, we only had nine appeals. We're only talking about $55,000 here, but still, that's, an, that's a huge increase that, that I think we could do a better job. We should just not increase fees by 2,000% on anything uh, without expecting to get uh, an outcry from the public. Um, so, so those are my concerns. And when this comes back in 30 days or 60 days uh, or never, um, I hope that, number one, we do look at increasing the proportion of the applicants uh, fees that are paid. The developers should share the sacrifice as well. And then number two, that we should lower the building and safety fees across the board because as you go through the process to get to the end, you're still going to pay six thousand uh, dollars. And thirdly, um, uh, I, I really think that we we need to look at the five hundred dollars because it's not going to have an effect on the real big uh, guys that are just doing it to to throw mud in the face of the, their uh, opponent developers. Um, but it is going to have a chilling effect on the, 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 the little people out there who, who want to file an appeal because it will have an effect. And, and maybe, maybe, Mr. Reyes, one of the things we really need to look at is the 500 feet. Maybe down the road we really need to take a look at whether we should expand that to 1,000 feet because we know that the impacts of particularly larger projects is much greater than 500 feet and, and we may want to look at that 